Good evening. Now, tonight what I'm going to talk about is how video games have influenced and changed the real world. You don't have to be a gamer to realize that recently the popularity of video games has just exploded. And with that increase in popularity, what we see is a change in society's perception of games and gamers. Today, games are no longer geeky, nerdy thing. Games are cool. Games are a normal, accepted form of entertainment. And with that rise, we also see a migration of game consoles away from the kids' corner into living room and offices. If you hear any companies describe themselves as a cool and fun place to work, you can safely bet they have a few game consoles in the office. <laughs> Another interesting impact of games is the push on computing boundaries. This is because games and gamers are always hungry for ever better computers, faster processors, better graphics, faster RAMs. If you walk into any computer shops, there are many different options, but always, always, the king of the king's latest and greatest are gaming machines. Because games always want the best and need all the help you can get. In 2005, I built myself a kick-ass game machine. <laughs> a year later, that game machine could not be playing the latest game on the market. That is how insanely fast things are being pushed by games. Because of games, the power of graphic processing chips in computers are growing so fast, more than double over every two years, last few years. And because of that, we are seeing them being used for all sorts of interesting applications, unexpected applications. One example is the financial services dat and data company Bloomberg. This year, they built a system to calculate stock prices using um, graphic chips. And it's so good that they can achieve the same result on 48 computers, the same as 1,000 standard servers. So if you go out, buy a new computer, and you realize that you're paying the same money, get a twice as fast computer, half the size, you should think of the gamers and thank them heartily. <laughs> now, in the movies, we see all sorts of computer-generated graphics, thing, Matrix and Lord of the Rings. Behind the scene, very similar technology drive the same thing for movies and games. In medicine, we also see games being used to help children before and after surgeries. And we also see countless results from studies suggesting that surgeons should play games because it helps them to perform better in tricky surgeries. In military, from 2002, American Army has been using an online shooter game called America's Army as a recruitment tool. This game is an online shooter game and it is designed to give the players a positive impression of army life. And it has been a huge success. It has been a really successful tool for their recruitment. At the same time, it has been always in the top 10 popular shooter games online since 2002. And it has been so good that recently, they even branched it out, make government-only versions to be used for training for their soldiers and secret services. So games now become something serious, let that and life situation, not just a game anymore. In 2007, I went to Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. What struck me was that about one third of the people I talked to was from some sort of military contractor companies. They were scouting the games industry for ideas and technology to make better tools for training military. And the moral questions aside, the fact that they go out and probe the games industry, I think is testament to the impact of game itself. Now, finally, the economy. The impact of games is huge. Globally, the revenue for games is $40 billion a year. In Australia alone, last year we spent $2 billion on games and related stuff. But it gets more interesting when we look at areas where the real economy and virtual economy start to blend. For example, we usually hear of the, the phrase, the go farmers. A go farmer is someone who's play 10 to, 10, 10 to 12 hours games every day, getting in-game currency and in-game items, and selling on to other players for real money. Considering that 
there are between half a million and a million gold farmers in China alone, we can realize that this impact is serious. So my friends, the impact of games on the real world is real, very real. So if you're not yet a gamer, become one, and you can be changing the world and having fun doing it. Thank you.